Oh, hello, universe. I'm Stephen Colbert here at the Late Show Mission Control. And I'm beaming this message across America as well as into space and beyond. Hi, God. We miss you. And I bring you a thrilling update on the thrilling and historic journey of NASA space probe known as New Horizons, which I believe was named after the assisted living center where you sent your peepop. This morning at 7.49 Eastern time, the New Horizons spacecraft made the closest ever pass near Pluto after being launched almost a decade ago, back when NASA had the cash to do cool stuff like this. And wow, the pictures are unbelievable. Behold, its icy visage revealed in all its glory. After almost a century of near total mystery, we finally know what Pluto really looks like. A malted milk ball left in the rain 4.7 billion miles from the sun. And we have to wait over a year now for all the information to come in because evidently New Horizons can't broadcast while it collects data because according to one mission scientist, the spacecraft upload isn't even as good as a 56K modem. Remember, this is 2005 technology, so the probe is also posting all the pictures to Friendster. But when that data does come in, it's going to huge because according to another scientist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, apparently there's more than one there, it's like opening up a birthday present every day from now until the end of the next year. Damn straight. Who doesn't love atmospheric data for their birthday? If you're watching, honey, hint, hint. For our entire lives, Pluto was nothing more than a dot in space. And now it's an entire world with surface features and personality. And oh my God, this section right here looks like a heart. It hearts us. But you know who doesn't heart it? Director of the Hayden Planetarium, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's one of the most prominent proponents of Pluto's demotion from a real planet to a dwarf planet. Boy, <laughs> I tell you, I would love to hear what Neil has to say now. Neil, what do you have to say now? Do you have anything to say about this? Are you excited? I'm, I'm excited. On a scale of one to awesome, how awesome is this? I would say awesome minus 10%. Really? Yeah. What is what is disappointing possibly about this? Look at this. No, no. It's, it's not just Pluto. It's Pluto and Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. His girlfriend, Sharon. Sharon. Over here. Totally Sharon. What's yeah. not one hundred percent awesome about this? Actually, Sharon was the ferry boat driver across the River Styx. So whatever she does for a living is fine with me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I believe women could also be lords of the underworld, unlike some people. Okay, so what, yeah, no, no. what so, is it? What is it about this that is not total awesome. top of the line awesome? Well, I wish you're pretty. It were... You're Neil. You know, you're right now. You're Neil Blase Tyson. No, I don't understand. I, 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 it would be totally awesome if it was a much bigger place. I think. What do you mean? Well, it's bigger than we thought it was, right? No. I thought Pluto was bigger than we thought it, it was. It is smaller than we ever thought it was, forever. Really? In 1930, when it was discovered, you know what the New York Times reported? What? That we thought it was the size of the Earth. And every decade went by, its size got littler and littler and littler as our capacity to measure it improved. Already, scientists have learned from New Horizons that Pluto is 20 to 30 kilometers larger than previously oh, thought 20. with a radius of 736 miles. <laughs> did I just, okay. did I just fact check? Neil? Okay, okay. Neil, so, uh, I'll free ball this one, Tyson. Okay, so uh, how much bigger is it? This one's bigger. 20 to 30 kilometers. Yeah. 20 to 30. It's a range. 20, 20, this much bigger. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Just saying. It's cold out there I'm in space, saying. Neil. So, like the length how of Manhattan. How big do you want it to be? A little bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think, oh, you think it's shrinking up because it's mm -hmm. cold. Well, evidently, <laughs> for Neil Tyson, size matters. <laughs> okay, let, let's let's talk. Let, we'll get to you being Here's wrong about the emotional Here's side the of this. No, no, no. Here is the thing. Here is the thing. By the way, thank you for answering the Neil signal. I don't mean to be so aggressive with you. I, I realize I, you must be in demand today. I, I was busy doing something else, and you materialized me on command. Okay. okay. What is the thing? I'm just saying. Oh, you give me the next one. There. Okay. So, here's the good thing about this. Yes? Here's the good thing about this. We, it's not every day where you get to be the first eyes to set upon a completely undiscovered land. This is beautiful and exciting. It is especially beautiful and especially exciting because no one has seen this before yesterday. 
That's why. Right. Not only that, there's higher resolution images getting taken of this that mm -hmm. will finally get downloaded back to Earth, mm -hmm. literally downloaded but down to Earth, right. and will have even more detail than what is here. But really slowly, right? Slowly. Well, because they, they want it. You had to get to Pluto before the principal investigators died. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the number one requirement of any scientific experiment. Okay. It has to finish before you die. Okay, so how do you get to Pluto before everybody dies? You get the tiniest spacecraft and the biggest rocket, and you get it out there as fast as possible. Pluto, the New Horizons mission passed the moon, the moon's orbit in nine hours. And it took the astronauts three days to do that. So this thing was booking out of the solar system. Then it got a gravity assist around the side of Jupiter, and it got to Pluto. What's a gravity assist now? I'd say it falls towards Jupiter, right? And it picks up Jupiter's orbital speed, comes out the other side. It's got extra energy. Like a marble going by a drain. Uh, yeah, except the drain is not moving, so it's it's it's. It, it can fall into Jupiter and come out the other side, that's fine, Yeah. but that's symmetric. Uh -huh. Because Jupiter is also orbiting the Earth, yeah. it is not symmetric. And so if you fell in Jupiter from the other side, it yeah. would slow down. Okay, you want to, you sneak up behind oh, Jupiter, behind it. you got to come in behind it. Oh, it's like NASCAR, you're drafting. Yeah, you're drafting. Yeah. Wow. There you go. That's for my NASCAR fans. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My point here is, you don't get to see this as a first thing. How many, how many objects have you never seen before and now everyone has seen it for the first time? That is, a, that's you what's know, awesome. Neil, what? A newborn chick. Did I just blow your mind? No, not really at all. No one's ever seen that chick before, Neil. That, that's true, but uh -huh. it looks like every other no, chick. No, let, let's just wait a second. It looks let's, like every other, this doesn't look this, like any, What are you that, talking that about? Look like, this, no. You know what this looks like? What? This looks like an illustration in a dictionary that says planet. It looks like a planet, it's got atmosphere, it even has a heart, unlike you, <laughs> who will give it no love. I, I feel some love for Pluto. You feel some love for Pluto? Got, even though Pluto's not even, you know, portrayed on my tie, mm -hmm. I, I, I feel for Pluto. Because you two are inexorably tied. In, in a bit, but... You are in the first line of Pluto's obit at this point. <laughs> no! No, anything but that. Yeah. No, but Pluto, it went from being the puniest planet to mm. being... You know the, the the king of the Kuiper Belt. That's super cool. Look at that. Those are two things in uh, locked. Yes. In eternal dance yes, with yes. each other. Yes. Yes. Pluto and Sharon are in orbital double tidal lock with one another, so they always show the same face to each other as they orbit. Wow. They never gaze. So they got else. secrets from each other. Possibly. But also, Sharon is so large compared with Pluto that their point of orbit is outside of Pluto itself. So what so, they're going around is out here? It's out here, not inside the physical body of Pluto. So it's like a, what's that, it's a, like a bolo, like those things, those Yeah, 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 they, they go around, around yeah, and then, walk, 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 walk. right, right. Wow. That's exactly, so, so that's a testament to how big Sharon is relative to Pluto. Sh Sharon has a, a, a canyon on it, right? Yeah, no, it's just, they all bigger have than very, the Grand Canyon. very interesting features on all of these outer objects, oh yeah. Wow, yeah. outer objects, you just dance around saying anything that would make this planet happy. <laughs> Object. Object. <laughs> Oh, you've got your really beautiful object. She has a name! <laughs> it's not even on my tie, okay? I got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. That's it, okay? So That's the standard. <laughs> if it's not on a casual accessory owned by Neil deGrasse Tyson, not worth knowing. Forget it. Forget it. Who cares? Noted uh, astrophysicist Elton John once sang, that Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids. In fact, it's cold as hell, and there's no one there to raise them if you did. What about Pluto? Could there be life? Could you raise anything on Pluto? Since when is hell cold? Uh, the, the last ring of hell is frozen. Satan stands in it, uh, chewing forever. Brutus, uh, Judas, and one other great betrayer uh, from Dante's Inferno. Did you go to a good school? <laughs> uh, I, never, I never read Inferno. Columbia, right? I never read Inferno. You never read went Inferno? To went to Harvard. Went to Harvard? Oh, yeah. okay. All right, yeah. I've heard of that one. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> Would you, was everything pass-fail there? Did you audit all your classes? No, I didn't. All no, right. While I was learning about the universe, yeah. they didn't teach us about Dante's. Inferno's Inferno. kind of a big, kind no, of a big story. Yeah, I, know, big story. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard yeah. of Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Read Inferno. the Bible? You read yes, the Bible? Yes, I have. Okay, good. Yes, That's I a good have. one, too. Lots based on that, too. Yeah. Okay, Neil, let's get back to Pluto for a second. Sure. Why do you, why do you and others, but you were certainly uh, blamed for a lot of this, and I'm one of the ones who blames you, 
Why do you? I was an accessory. I didn't pull the trigger. But you were you were driving the car <laughs> I, I that murdered I, Pluto as a planet. No, okay, I drove the car. Murder was the case that they gave me. I've heard your that song. That escaped the scene after Pluto got demoted. I understand. Okay, okay. you'd still get the chair. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, why do you believe that it is not a planet? It sure damn looks like a planet. It's out there in space where the planets are. It's got a moon. It's got a moon. Planets have moons. Okay, it has a moon. Is the Sharon over here? Which is the size of Texas. Okay? If Neptune, Next you're going to tell me that Texas isn't a planet. If Neptune were a Chevy Impala parked at the curb, yeah. ask yourself, what car would Pluto be? If Neptune was a Chevy Impala parked at the curb, parked at the curb yeah. what car can you think up that Pluto would be? Uh, 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 a matchbox car. That's exactly what it would be. Car. Matchbox car. Oh. Check. <laughs> Mate. Checkmate. Checkmate. Yeah, it would be a matchbox. Car. Okay, but it would be about that size? Yeah, about that size. Okay. Okay. Um what if I Neil, what if I what if what if I gave you what if I gave you a Klondike bar? Would you change your oh, age idea then? That's different. No. That's Klondike. They didn't sponsor the show or give us any money. <laughs> do you want? No, I'll totally. Let's earn it. Let's earn it. Okay. okay. How do I how okay. do I have to earn it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have a, someone who's not sponsoring us tonight. It's uh it's Tang. Guess I'm right there. I'm not drinking tang. You're not drinking no, tang? No, no, I'm, I'm not what? doing tang. Okay. No, no. Tang, it tastes like <laughs> sand <laughs> from space. Mmm, drink the beach. Mm. Oh, what would it hurt to call Pluto a planet other than the reputation of the great Neil deGrasse Tyson? I think it would insult all the other planets in the solar system. But here's Good. something here's, here's something I will concede to you. You ready? Write this down. Jupiter is more bigger compared to Earth than Earth is compared to Pluto. Uh, how many times? How many? How uh, Jupiter is 11 times wider than Earth, and Earth is five times wider than Pluto. So if we were Jovians, mm -hmm. Earth would be a dwarf planet too. So totally. A equals B, B equals C, my friend. That's math. If okay. Gonna, if, if I don't, I'm not, I'm not throwing formulas too difficult for. Here's Nick what Tyson, I'd rather do. I? Because I know Ra you don't like read books. Rather than the... call Pluto a planet, yeah, I'd rather take all the four rocky planets and call them dwarf planets. That's what I would rather do. You would do. turn Earth into a I would so to do To save that. your skin, just <laughs> to win an argument on a web page. No, if we lived That's on... so petty of you. You would turn Earth into a dwarf planet if we lived just on... so you wouldn't be wrong? No, if we lived on... Uh, that's, that, that's, that's where we turn the corner. If, that's where if... everyone turned the corner. Just now, you can hear audible gasps. <laughs> audible gasps out there. If, I'm going to join you in on... that Klondike bar. I cannot. This is, you're making that look too good. If we lived on Jupiter... Oh, well... Oh, damn. We'd be into big, gassy stuff. Wow. And we would look at Saturn and see it as our sister planet, uh -huh. our brother planet, and Uranus and Neptune. And we look at these puny, rocky things, and uh -huh. we say, what? They want to call themselves a planet like us? Uh -huh. No. I don't play that. Not if I'm, J I'm Jupiterian or Jovian, as, they, as it goes. As, How's nothing. Star Talk going? No, well, thanks for asking. Yeah, it's still got, going on? some good guests. Yeah. Who you yeah. got coming up? I got, um, we're going to get President Clinton. What? I don't yeah, know. I don't wow, know. he owes me a couple of things. That's why I figure. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, does he really? To save his skin a few times. He owes me. Oh yeah, he was with me at JPL that night. <laughs> and uh, and you got the, also the Star Talk TV coming up. Yeah, so it's junk species. So some of our episodes were picked up by National Geographic Channel. Okay, yeah. And so what, fall, when is that broadcast? What time? This fall. Um, oh, they're still working on the, the broadcast schedule. Yeah, but it's not 11:30 at night, is it, Neil? Oh, it is go time. <laughs> it is go time, Neely Ty. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To Pluto. To Pluto. No, no, I love me some Pluto. Don't get me wrong. Pluto and I go way back, really. Well, Pluto will find out that you said that in four and a half hours. <laughs> when this broadcast gets out there, and maybe Pluto will forgive you. Goodbye. Oh. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert starting September 8th. Yeah.